Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. Alright, today we're going to be rounding decimals. And rounding decimals is very similar to rounding whole numbers. So if you know your rounding rules and how to round, this is going to be pretty easy for you. There's just a very minor difference between whole numbers and decimals. But your rounding rule is the same. And if you look up to the top right up here, I put the rounding rule for a refresher. So you find the place, look next door, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So we are going to do 10 together here for the instructional video. This is the instructional video. And once we get through this 10, you can try the mastery check, which I dropped the link um, in the description for the mastery check, where you can try 10 on your own and see if you've mastered rounding decimals. So let's hop into number one here, and we're going to round to the underlined place. We're going to round to the tenths place for number one. So we have a six in the tenths place. We need to see if two and sixty-seven hundredths rounds up to two and seven tenths. Is it close closer to two and seven tenths, or is this number closer to two and six tenths? Does that six stay the same? Well, let's look next door at this 7, and that 7 says that this number is closer to 2 and 7 tenths. You would round up to 2 and 7 tenths. Now, here's the minor difference between whole numbers and decimals. In decimals, when you round to the given place, for example, number 1 is the tenths place, we cut it off at the tenths place. We don't fill with zeros like we do with whole numbers. So you would just put two and seven tenths. You don't need to add a zero on the end. So let's do number two. Let's do the tenths place in number two. So we have an eight in the tenths place. Let's look next door. Does that two say round up or stay the same? Is this number closer to two and eight, 82 and eight tenths or closer to 82 and nine tenths? This 2 says let it rest, so it will be, it will round to 82 and 8 tenths. Like I said in number 1, we cut it off at the rounded place. This is for decimals only. For whole numbers, you change everything to the rounded place to zeros. Here, we cut it off. So let's round to uh, the hundredths place for number 3. So we look at the 4. Look next door, and you should be thinking to yourself, we will round up, and this is closer to five hundredths than it is to four hundredths. And we cut it off at the hundredths place. For number four, let's round to the nearest whole number. If you hear, ever hear round to the nearest whole number, that means the ones place. So we're going to see if this number is closer to 22 or 23. What does it round to? So let's look next door. That 3 says stay the same. So 22 and 3 tenths rounds to 22 for the nearest whole number. Let's do nearest whole number for number 5 as well. So we have a 5 and 9 tenths here. And when I say let's round, 5 and 9 tenths to the nearest whole number is basically asking is this number closer to 6 or 7 or I'm sorry 5 or 6 so let's look next door and that 9 says add one more or round up so we would round to 6 all right let's go to number 6 let's round to the tenths place again so we have a 1 in the tenths. Let's look next door. And we have an 8. So that says round up. So we should have 45 and 2 tenths. And remember, cut off at whatever decimal place they tell you to round to. For number 7, let's do nearest whole number. So is this 8 and 3 tenths closer to 8 or 9? Next door. That 3 says stay the same, 
So that number would round to 8. 8 would be the nearest whole number. Let's do nearest whole number again for number um, 8 here. Looks, look next door. So are we going to round up to 10? Or is 9 and 9 tenths closer to 9? Well, 9 says round up. So this number, 9 and 9 tenths would round to 10 if you are rounding to the nearest whole number. Number 9, let's round to the tenths. Let's look next door. 2 says stay the same. So you would round to 4 and 7 tenths if you were to round to the nearest tenths. And then number 10, let's do the hundredths place. Okay, look next door. 5 says add one more or raise the score. So we have 37 holes and 56 hundredths if you were to round to the hundredths. And remember, cut off at the rounded place. So maybe you're just learning about rounding decimals or you needed a refresher or you're studying for a test, whatever it is, hopefully that helped out um, with rounding decimals. My advice would be checking out the mastery check video next, which like I said is in the description. So click on that link. You're going to try some on your own and see if you have it down. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.